I study aquatic ecosystems for the city of Austin, and here at Barton Springs, we study uh, Barton Springs salamander populations and water quality. So scientists okay. study here at Barton Springs because Barton Springs isn't a pool in the traditional sense of a pool. What this is, is it's a, it's a part of the creek that has dams on either end, and it's got natural spring water coming in, so it's really part of the natural world. This is just like going out and studying a lake or a pond or a river somewhere and all the animals in it. It's unique in that there are species that live here and only here okay. in the whole world, the whole globe. There are two species of salamander and there's also um, little tiny invertebrates that live in the water. This is the only place they live. Contrary to popular belief, once you're in this water for four or five hours, it's really cold. Uh, the salamanders, they have this kind of iridescent color to them, kind of lavender color. They're really pretty. Each one of them is rarer than any diamond, so that's probably one of my favorite things to see. We count the salamanders, or, or baby salamanders, because then we know they're doing well we find baby ones. There's a lot of invertebrates, a lot of fish. There's at least one eel that I've seen in there. It's a big catfish. And really cool looking algae. There will be four to six scientists in the water, either snorkeling or on scuba, uh, all like moving forward at once. And we just count salamanders, count the size class, kind of have an idea of how many juveniles do we see, how many young larvae, how many mature adults, and uh, is the population changing? Do we see more juveniles or do we see more gravid adult females or uh, females that are about to lay eggs? So as scientists, what we can contribute to the Barton Springs is if we can continue to monitor the springs and look for changes that would alter it, uh, not just for salamanders, but for the resource that's valued by the people that use it now. Uh, keeping the water clean, also keeping the salamanders safe. And those salamanders are an endangered species, so we're mandated to keep them safe. And part of being able to keep using this pool uh, means that we have to demonstrate that we're not threatening an endangered species. Moth larvae, no. Odinate, no. Verms, yes. Mollusk, yes. What do you have out here? Oh my god. Thank you, brother. From where? You've been hiding all that. Not his. Whenever we're out counting them, we, we'll kind of, every once in a while, look up at each other and just think, man, we're, we're so lucky. Um, mm. Did you see worms, planarian, and leeches? Or what did you see out of that? I saw oligochaetes and leeches. I didn't see any flatworms today. Although, I think really? Mike found a tapeworm. This looks like, Mike, don't wipe your face after you pick up a tapeworm. <laughs> don't do it. I didn't know it was a tapeworm. <laughs> and then you tell your face, he's like, uh... Was that really a tapeworm? It might have been. It looked like one. Did you see fish? I did see fish. <laughs> Fancy that. I saw you. <laughs> okay. Boulder is five. Okay. Cobble's 45. Gravel's 45. Percent sediment was 80.